An update tonight on managing the explosive growth in St. Johns County. Digital reporter Travis Gibson was watching a county commission meeting where public got to weigh in on possible solutions to this issue. Travis? Yeah, that's right. The county is dealing with traffic issues and overcrowded schools, and everyone agrees something needs to be done. Residents, builders, and commissioners all got the chance to say what changes they would like to see coming in, see coming in the recent years. How can St. Johns County effectively deal with the explosive growth that's showing no signs of slowing down? That was the question commissioners and the public was tasked with addressing this morning. Everyone had their own ideas. Developers called for higher density projects. Density and um, higher density projects allows to help reduce costs. It lowers the risk of urban sprawl that we're seeing. Um, and it also helps to consolidate the traffic impacts. One environmentalist said the county needs to keep diversity in its land use. Just increasing density full stop is not the solution. You want a cluster de density so that there are some areas that are undeveloped and some areas that are heavily developed but just increasing density full scale, that's not the answer. That's more children in schools, more cars on roads. Advocates said affordable and workforce housing must be a part of the conversation when talking about growth. There's got to be a partnership that creates affordable housing. It's government regulations, it's builders and developers, and it's banks. And if all three don't pitch in together, it's really not going to grow. And with tens of thousands of new houses already in the pipeline for the coming years, some call for a halt to new developments altogether. Growth for the sake of growth, however intelligent it may be, needs some time to take a break. The population jumped 43 percent from 2010 to 2020, and the county has struggled to keep up with infrastructure needs. That's why commissioners voted to put a one-cent sales tax increase on the November ballot that would help pay for $500 million in infrastructure repairs and upgrades. Commissioner Henry Dean said they are taking all the suggestions they heard today seriously. My biggest takeaway is that we have a, a, a large number of very interested uh, citizens, residents in the county that really want our county to be the best it can be and want to communicate with us on a regular basis. There was no formal action taken today, but Commissioner Dean said there seemed to be a consensus that the county needs to look at possibly making changes to impact fees. Those are the fees that are paid by developers for roads and other growth-related infrastructure. The county also plans to have another growth management workshop this fall. Back to you.